YouTube, this is WarP3 here. Um, here is my first Reaver biker, or jet biker. Um, I gotta say, first off, I love this model. Um, this model is awesome to build. Um, I love every detail of it. Right now it's a little rocky because it's on a little piece of thing. But, um, uh, I gotta send it down. But, um, yes, I love this model. Um, I heard it's very kind of tricky to build, and yes, there are some parts that like interlock and stuff. Um, but I love this model. This model is awesome. Uh, I like the new peg stand. Let's see if I can get this off with one hand. Um, what I didn't really realize before is that they have a new peg stand now. Um, so that little nub that you just stick into your models. Um, so I can find one. Here you go. So that little plastic nub that um, I talked about in my earlier videos, um, some of you guys can go check that out on how I made my own uh, flying stands. And I've always said I hated those little things, but this is a major improvement. Um, it's pretty nice because you can just put it into that um, socket there, and then check to find it. So you just put it in the socket. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, um, I got my music going in the background on my laptop. Um, but you just put it on there, it, it holds up pretty nice. Um, you can poke it all you want, it won't fall off. Um, and then you can also angle uh, the bike, and so the bike will stay there. Um, you can have it going almost straight up. So it's I like that, I like that you can um, put it in different variable mo uh, angles and stuff, it adds more dynamic um, possibilities to the model. And if you do decide to put some um, basing, basing stuff on here, um, you can have it so like it's going over um, like a marine or something like that, or some dead foe or whatever you want to put on it. Um, so I really like that. I hope they do more of this, um, this style of base or peg thing for um, other future flyers or um, flying stands. I know they have it for all the new Dark Elder models, um, but I hope that when they update other um, armies and stuff that they do the same, because I really like that. Um, some people, uh, on the instruction thingy, it says they can glue it, but I wouldn't glue it. It's so much easier just to take these off and so they don't break and stuff. Um, so what I did with this model is I put it together, obviously, and then I read my rule book. Um, you get three of these in a box. I read my codex that for every three, you get um, the option of uh, changing out the splinter rifle, which is here. Um, you can switch this out for the heat lance, which is this one, or the blaster, which I have on it currently. And I've decided that for this army, I will be magnetizing the, the different options. And so. Um, what I had to do is, uh, I kind of carved out that little area. Um, I don't have any others right now that I've built, because I've been saving these, and just in case you guys want me to do a little build video. Um, but let's see if I can get it so you can see where that area is. Alright, I'll zoom in. Um, so that area right you um you glue the two halves together and then you can put your weapon option in there um it's like a little oval area with the insert where um it just snaps into the uh the models but um i decided to magnetize it so i had to carve out that little area and then i was able to put in my magnet um with these it has a um find it again uh let's see where did it go there you go uh, the planning you. So, right there, where it has the, um, the shaft of the gun, and it has a mount, and it has the part that would plug into the, um, uh, into the bike. I completely carved, or cut that off from my clippers, and then I just put the magnet on there. So now, I can switch out, um, for the heat lance, or for the, the blaster, and just snaps right on there, and um, it's nice. I like that I was able to do that. 
a um, little fiddling around and stuff uh, to get it to do that at first, but um, I was able to work, make it work, and um, so yeah. So for every three, I can do this, um, which is awesome. Um, they can be ten in the squad, so you can have, I believe, up to three of these uh, mounting type, three or four, I think. Um, but uh, yeah. So I would definitely want two squads of ten in my army, um, and then for apocalypse formations, man, I would want a bunch of these. Um, I think you can get things where um, they have like little snares or something. Um, for the arena leader, which I will not be having for this first squad that I'm making, um, they can have the Kultra something pod thingy, which is that right there. Um, and that, I believe, hooks into the back of the bike, um, to that little slot there. Um, and for any of you who are wondering, I did not glue in the rider. Um, I'm a very huge fan of these uh, blank faced um, riders, and his arm just came off. Um, but that's right. Um, I need to fix the arm actually anyway. So I'm a very big fan of these um, these helmets here. Um, I think they are awesome. Uh, just blank faced gladiator s looking. Um, they're just awesome. So, pretty pleased on these riders. Um, if you can kind of see it, there's a notch there for the arm. And then, I'm actually kind of glad this broke off now. Um, you can kind of see it there. So, we can zoom in. That there's that other notch. There you go. And those just slot in into each other. And you don't even have to test the rider onto the model. Um, you just glue those right on and he'll sit there and it'll work. Um, you can put the model or the rider onto the bike to make sure his feet can line up, but um, you don't really have to because so that notch, it, it's already there for you, which is awesome. Um, another thing is that the legs um, notch into place, so there's no rider wrong for that. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more for the detail. Uh, like I said before, um, the, uh, the knife and the pistol are all there already sculpted um... you have the two torso choices for male or female um, and i like i said i love these helmets right here you get four i believe um... two three yeah you get at least four or five of these types of helmets a um, little bit of variation one has a big ponytail um, another one has uh, not so spiky bits on them um, so that's what I'll be using for these guys, and for any other, um, Dark Elder model, really, that I have, because I love these helmets. Um, they're cool. Yeah. Um, alright, so now about the bike. Uh, let's see if I can zoom out on this, and put it on its base. Alright, so now the bike. Um, it is a bit pretty fiddly um, type of model to put together. Um, the first thing I noticed uh, was the handlebars here. The handlebars fit into the bike, and I'll explain this more in detail if I do a build video, which I'm pretty interested on in doing now. Um, but these handlebars are held in um, by a piece of screw here and on the other side and on two edges. And they're thin enough where if you clip it with your clippers, it can bend and possibly snap off. Um, so I had to be really careful, and I put a drop of glue in the, um, the recess of where it snapped, and I just moved it back into place. Um, so that was one thing I was kind of worried about. And these back fins here, um, this part slots into the back of the main um, chassis, and then this part, um, this part fits into like this little preset gap, and just like kind of slots in there. Um, these, this bit right here particularly is really pokey. Um, you thought before that uh, some of these models right here, these, these parts really pokey. Man, getting a cut by the plastic here hurts a lot. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that hurts. Um, there's little spikes down here that are kind of pokey, um, but you know, Dark Eldar, they their sharp edges and their pokiness. Um, yeah, 
they're, they're I, I love this model. This model's awesome. I can't wait to paint it up. Um, probably gonna be either using Reaper or Vallejo paints. Um, just whatever I find uh, I find first, actually. Um, but I like this model. Um, yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I kind of want to do a build video only because um, I actually haven't seen that many Dark Eldar videos out there. Um, I was expecting a lot more, uh, especially from like Beast of War and stuff like that. Um, I know um, Viv and uh, some of his Battle Bunker dudes um, did a few videos, but um, they just said like, "All right, this is uh, this is built and this is what it looks like." Um, but I want to do a "This is how you build" a type of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, really like this this model. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I have two more to build. I want more <laughs> and more because um, these things are just awesome. All right, so next thing I want to talk about is um, is paint schemes. So I'm gonna go switch over to my laptop and uh, I'll show you guys the color schemes I found that I really like, um, and I'll talk about that more when I get there. So I'll be right back.